Hello again, YouTube. I wasn't kidding when I said I had a lot of free time. <laughs> so I programmed a better hex editor into the machine, which will allow me to enter programs much easier. So before I showed this to you, the infancy OS, it's uh, this square-based uh, interface that lets me edit programs using binary. It's pretty clunky because you have to quickly convert between binary values and hexadecimal values in your head. So to um, make the program entry process easier, I made I made a hex editor called hex, and it uses its own set of functions in the hex library. Um, so we are going to run it right now. Which brings us to a new screen. You can type help, and it gives you a separate set of commands. Uh, you can type the help command, of course, as we just did. You can quit to go back to the operating system. You can edit a program, you can type in an, uh, an address, or you can type in four hexadecimal values to enter them into the main memory. <coughs> uh, so right now, I'll go to 0000, which is the start of the main memory. You can see the contents of it. You advance just by pressing Enter, and you can see each of the progressive uh, value stored in there. <clears throat> That's helpful for making sure that you haven't entered any bugs or just for scanning different parts of the memory. And you can edit um, when you do edit it brings you directly to the address of a program. Right now we're in all of the strings that the OS uses. Uh, it's the OS text file. Uh, and one feature of this editor is if you try to go uh, to an address that's out of bounds of the program, let's say we wanted to go to uh, this address, it tells us we're out of bounds because that's not contained within the, the file OS text. So it keeps you from editing parts of the computer that you shouldn't. Just to show you that you can actually change things, I am going to modify this text file. I'm going to change the values, the first eight values of it, <coughs> to A3, 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 and so on. And this will, in effect, change what we see when we go to the operating system. So if we quit, you'll see that instead of welcome, welcoming us, it has a bunch of colons. That's because we've just edited the text in the operating system. And uh, I'm going to have to go back and fix that because I don't want a bunch of colons right now. But that's just a proof that it actually does let you edit the hex values. So that's all I have to show for now. Thanks for watching.